What's up, everybody? I'm Brad. Welcome to Sports Magazine Collector. You know what time it is. We've got Sports Magazine Moguls, edition number five. We're counting down the 10 highest sports magazine sales from last month. Let's go. All right, we're going to jump right in here, starting with number 10 on the countdown of the highest sports magazine sales from November 2022, and we have the great Mickey Mantle. This is from 1962, and this is Mickey Mantle's sixth Sports Illustrated cover. Although, other than his first cover, this is probably the best close-up shot of Mickey uh, to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Really nice cover here. This one's graded at a CGC 8.5, and it sold for $2,280 on Heritage. There have only been 16 newsstand copies graded of this issue so far, and at the 8.5 level, it's one of three, and there are only three copies graded higher. Number nine, this is a regular here on our countdown. It's the very first issue of Sports Illustrated ever from 1954. It's got Hall of Famer Eddie Matthews on the cover, and this one is graded at a CGC 9.8. We see these sell, uh, we see these sell all the time, and this is the lowest sale I have ever seen for a 9.8 copy of this issue listen i'm telling you guys look at the pop report right there below this is the reason why there have been 560 copies of this issue graded and 76 of them are 9.8s the demand right now just does not meet the supply on this particular issue this is the most frequently graded issue of all time uh, by cgc of any sports illustrated that's because there's there's no copies of this issue that have subscription labels on there every copy you would ever find of this issue is going to be considered a newsstand and also they sold a bunch um, as collector's items you know several decades later because they had stored them in a warehouse so this is a really just kind of unique case where most of these newsstands especially the early ones from 50s 60s 70s are really rare that's not the case for this first issue, and uh, it's it's really showing because some of these prices have just continued to drop. So $3,120 still does crack our top 10, but much lower than what we've seen in the past for this first issue. Number eight, very interesting one here. This is a 2003 LeBron James NBA debut game program, and it's graded as CGC 9.8. This sold for $3,000. $120 on Heritage. And I really like this. You can see on the on the cover there, it says opening night, Kings versus Cavaliers. It's got the date, October 29th, 2003. It's even got a photo on there of LeBron. That's pretty rare for a debut program to actually have the photo of the, uh, you know, the specific athlete that we're looking to collect on the cover. Very cool. Uh, most game pro programs in general just have kind of generic covers without even any athletes at all. And it's even more rare for the, you know, like I said, the highlight athlete to be on the cover. So this is pretty neat that it actually has LeBron on the cover and it has the actual date of this debut on there. So you can see that there have been 12 copies of this game program graded. And at 9.8, um, it's only one of two copies out there. Number seven, here it is again. It's issue number one. Once again, graded as CGC 9.8. This one went for $3,600. And both of these copies we've seen so far were actually on the same Heritage auction. So they sold at the same time. One went for $3,100. This one went for $3,600. And as I said before, the demand of this issue just does not meet the supply right now. That's why we've seen the prices continue to drop. I've seen this one sell as high as eleven thousand dollars, and it's just kind of it's kind of gone lower and lower there for a while. It was in the six thousands, and then last month we saw four thousand, and now here we are, uh, thirty six hundred, thirty one hundred, and this one comes in at number seven on our list for November. Number six. This might be my favorite copy on the whole list. This is Mickey Mantle. This is from nineteen fifty six, and it is his fourth Sports Illustrated cover. It's not graded but it is autographed. It sold for $3,750 on the Memorabilia Network. So the Memorabilia Network had a big auction last month with a bunch of sports magazines that were all autographed. They all came from this one big collection from a doctor who had passed away and his entire estate and his entire collection was consigned to the Memorabilia Network. And this was one of the best, actually, in my opinion, this was the best copy that was up for sale. And, uh, you know, it, it looks to be a new stand sold for three thousand seven hundred fifty, even though it's ungraded. I think that this is an absolutely awesome one. You just can't go wrong with a Mickey Mantle new stand autograph from the 1950s. Number four, this came from the same auction with the memorabilia network, 
and this is Mickey Mantle's first cover. Now, you can tell from the bottom left that this is actually a subscription. You can see that the label has been removed there on that black box. You can see some of that residue, some of that paper loss, but uh, still, it's his first cover, very desirable issue. And with it being autographed by Mickey Mantle, sold for $4,000. So this was the highest selling single sports magazine from that auction. And it comes in at number five on the highest list for the entire month. Number four, if there was one copy on this countdown that I would consider to be a bargain, it would be this one. This is 1983, Michael Jordan. It's his first Sports Illustrated cover. And it's graded at a CGC 8.0. Sold for $4,920 on Heritage. Now... In my opinion, regardless of what happens with this hobby in the future, there are going to be three issues that are always going to carry value. The Mickey Mantle first cover that we just saw, the Muhammad Ali first cover, and this one right here, the Michael Jordan first cover. 8.0 is incredibly difficult to get in this issue. It's a double issue. It was really thick, so that's a lot of stress on the spine and on those staples. It's got a lot of ink with all that blue color. This is a hard magazine to get in a high grade and coming in an 8.0 selling for $4,920. In my opinion, that is a really good bargain. That's a really good pickup for the buyer. There's only 11 copies higher than this CGC 8.0. Number three, this one is extremely interesting to me. This is 1984 Hoop Magazine and it's labeled as Michael Jordan NBA Debut Game Program. It's graded at a CGC 4.0. And it sold for $6,121.20 on Heritage. Now, here's the deal. That's not Michael Jordan on the cover. That's Orlando Woolridge, okay? But it's labeled as Michael's first debut game. And actually, it's got little writing there on the H. Someone actually hand wrote October 26, 1984, uh, Washington, which the Washington Bullets was who Michael played in his first game. But here's what I think is interesting about this is these hoop magazines, they did serve as game programs, but they would basically have the same cover for the entire season. So, for example, this this hoop magazine with Orlando Woolridge on the cover pretty much I, I don't know exactly how it worked, but you can find lots and lots of games from that 1984, 85 season um with the bulls and and all of those game programs that had the bulls are going to have orlando this exact same cover and so the only thing that changes is um there will be a few a few pages that are different on the inside depending on what that game is that night so with this magazine being slabbed how do you actually know that this was michael's debut game now for sure you know this was michael's debut or this was michael's rookie season but realistically Without seeing the inside of the magazine, you don't know for sure if it was his debut game. I'm going to give CGC the benefit of the doubt and hope that they knew that and that they actually were able to see inside the magazine that this was indeed his first game. But, you know, to be honest, CGC has not always done a great job of labeling. They're more of experts in the comic world. So is it possible that someone sent this in and marked it as Michael's debut game and and they just labeled it that way without knowing. I I do think that's possible. But once again, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say that this is indeed Michael's debut game. But I just think it's very interesting because really Michael's not even on the cover. And you actually can't verify from just the slab, the front or the back, whether or not this was his debut game. And, and I checked, um, you know, this was on Heritage. There were only two photos listed, the front and the back of the slab. Um, so yeah, very interesting. It's the only copy graded of this, of this hoop magazine from 1984-85 for the Bulls. And, um, if it is indeed his first debut game program, then very awesome collectible, $6,121.20. Number two, LeBron James. This is his first cover from 2002, graded at a CGC 9.8. There are 197 copies of this graded. It is one of the most frequently graded issues out there. And there are 37 9.8s. This one went for $7,200 on Heritage. Now, we did see this exact same uh, CGC 9.8 of this issue sell a couple months ago in August, and it went for $9,000. So the price is down just a little bit. Um, you know, that's kind of a trend that we've been seeing. I don't know if it's the economy, 
but uh, you know, lots of other collectibles are seeing the same thing. So we'll continue to monitor and see what happens, but still coming in at number two on this list, very strong sale, 7,200 on LeBron first cover. And the number one highest selling sports magazine from November, 2022, man, this is an interesting one too. We've got 1956 Mickey Mantle. Once again, it's his first cover, but also once again, this is a subscription. It's graded as CGC 9.4. What's unique about this is you can barely see that this is a subscription. And really probably from your, from your computer screens, you cannot see any indication that this used to have a label. Um, you basically have to zoom in and, and look very closely to see any trace. Really, the only difference is uh, on the top of the CGC label, you can see it says very clearly right there, subscription edition. So when they were grading this magazine, they detected that it used to have a label and it had a label removed. But this sold for $17,400 on Heritage. This is the all-time highest selling subscription issue in the history of the sports magazine hobby. So this kind of goes to show you that if you have an extremely coveted issue, such as the mantle first cover, or maybe the other ones we talked about, like the Ali or the Jordan, and the label is gone so well that you can't even tell, and it's graded really highly like this 9.4, uh, there's going to be a market out there for that. Now, I will say, before all of you run out there and start buying these subscription issues, it is extremely, extremely hard to remove labels so cleanly that it can't be detected. Um, I have scoured and purchased thousands of magazines and um, it's in the 1% of subscription issues with the labels removed that look as nice as this one right here. Whoever did this work was a magician because uh, you just don't see them like that. And so, um, yes, yeah, such an interesting purchase with this being labeled as a subscription, but the display and the aesthetic is still there. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I put the pop reports and I listed both the subscription and the newsstand. Usually we're only looking at the newsstand because typically those are the ones that carry the most value. And typically those are the only ones that we're really concerned with. But in this case, it goes in the, the census and in the pop report for the subscription issues. So there have been 29 subscription copies of this graded versus 38 newsstands. This is a pop one of one, none higher on the subscription side of things. Now, as far as the new stands, there are six 9.4s and then there are two 9.6s. But um, yeah, extremely interesting, $17,400. Mickey Mantle, first cover, subscription issue, CGC 9.4, coming in at number one on our list for last month. All right, don't leave just yet. We've got some really nice magazines that just missed out on our top 10. We're gonna run through them for some honorable mentions. So first up, Thought this one was really interesting, not necessarily a sports magazine, but look at this. It actually would have come in on the top 10 if I had considered a sports magazine. But, uh, you know, you got Donald Duck, you've got some golf clubs. So I figured you get a little bit of a sports twist here. This CGC 9.6 actually sold for $4,080 on Heritage. And it's the first appearance of Gyro Gearloose. Didn't know who that was. I had to look him up. Apparently, he's a duck who's in Donald's posse. So uh, congrats to him that people are really looking for his first appearances from 1952. There's been 58 copies graded. And I just thought that this was uh, this was worth a share, worth a mention in the video. Next up, 2002 LeBron James first cover. We already saw this in a 9.8 sell for a little bit over 7000. And you can see just one notch lower dropping down to a CGC 9.6. And the sale was for $2,060. There have been 197 copies of this graded. There are 38 9.6s. As we mentioned before, there are 37 9.8s. All right, we've got a 1998 Kobe Bryant first cover, obviously also featuring Magic Johnson. And this is a CGC 9.4 that went for $1,888 on eBay. There have been 59 newsstand copies of this issue graded. There are eight 9.4s, and there are 36 copies graded higher. Next up, 1974 Hank Aaron. This is autographed and it's been authenticated by Beckett. Graded at a CGC 7.5, sold on eBay for $1,848, 
and 97 cents. Absolutely love that autograph there on his, on his white Jersey. I think this, this is a really beautiful issue and uh, there've only been 38 copies of this issue graded. It's the 715 issue from whenever Hank Aaron became the all time home run leader, passing up Babe Ruth. And at the 7.5 level, it's a pop one of three. There are 15 copies graded higher. Up next, 1955 Ted Williams' first cover. This is actually, this one fooled me. So this was on the Heritage, um, this was on the Heritage auction with a bunch of those other big sales that we've seen, sold for $1,860. When I was glancing at this uh, during the auction, while the, while the bids were still going, I kind of wrote this one off a little bit because I thought that it was a subscription issue. And the only reason I thought that is if you look at the top, if you look at the CGC label and kind of to the right of where it says 9.4 on, on the top of that little block right there, that's where it will always denote whenever an issue is considered a subscription. And so anytime I see the, the two words right there on the top that are in bold, that usually says subscription edition. Well, after this sold for $1,860, I was like, wow, that's that's a pretty strong sale for a subscription. So I actually looked a little bit closer and I saw that that actually says newsstand edition. So the CTC label actually put newsstand edition right there in the spot where it will often say subscription edition. And I looked a little bit deeper. I looked into the specific copy. This was graded in 2009. 2009 was the very first year that CGC started grading uh, sports magazines. So this must have been some labeling that they did really early on. They do not do this anymore um, because now if it's a newsstand copy, they just they don't put anything. They just uh, they just put the normal label on there. Whereas this, if it's a subscription, that's when they'll add that extra notation right where this one says newsstand edition. So this one fooled me at first. I thought all along until after the sale was over and, and whenever I put this video together, I thought this was a subscription issue, but it was actually not. And so being a newsstand, Ted Williams first cover, CGC 9.4, I would also consider this to be a pretty good bargain. Forever picked it up for $1,860. There have been 36 copies graded in newsstand. This is a pop one of five, and there are seven copies graded higher. Next up, we've seen this one sell a few times over the past few months, and usually it's right around this price. It's the Shohei Otani first cover. Also has Mike Trout, and this is graded at a CGC 9.8. Sold for $1,795 on eBay. There have been 39 copies of this issue graded, and at a 9.8, it's a pop one of 15. Now, I should mention here, I actually put an asterisk on this pop count because this is actually a variant cover. So there were other covers released this week, and I know one of them had Aaron Judge on the cover. The census is not broken up on this particular issue. So while I say that there are 39 copies graded and that there are 15 9.8s, those are probably not all the Shohei Otani. I would assume that most of them are because this is the most desirable issue of those variants, but uh, very likely a few of those are actually other covers. Next up, it's the Wayne Gretzky first cover from 1981. Rated at a CGC 9.2. This is also a subscription copy. The newsstand copy at a 9.4 sold for $30,000. So you'd like to think that a newsstand at 9.2 would sell for quite a bit higher than $17.40. But this is what the subscription copy sold for. Now, this one's not quite as clean as that Mickey Mantle that we saw earlier. You can definitely see the residue on this one. If you look on his glove there that's holding the hockey stick, and then just to the left of it on that white stripe on the bottom of his jersey, you can see that glue residue running right along that white stripe. And then there's also a second strip of glue residue above it on the blue jersey. So this one definitely is a little bit more noticeable, but still presents pretty nicely. And yeah, sold for $1,740 on Heritage. Did the same thing on this one. I listed the pop counts for both of these subscription issues and the newsstand. So in a subscription, there's 34 copies graded. This is a pop one of two with only one higher, whereas there have been 53 new stands graded and there are two 9.2s and four copies graded higher. Absolutely love this one as a big Kobe Bryant fan. This is some 1996 
and the magazine is titled The Fan. This is a CGC 9.6. It's sold for $1,380 on Heritage. This shows Kobe from his high school uniform with Lower Marion High School. This was before he even got drafted. It said, is this kid really ready for the pros? I'm honestly really jealous of whoever got this. And this is actually one of the highest graded copies. There's only been six copies graded, and there are apparently three 9.6s and currently no 9.8s. Next up, same one we've already seen. It's the Otani first cover. Once again, a CGC 9.8. The first one sold for, what was it, $1,700. And then here we have one for $1,380 on Heritage. And once again, there have been 39 copies graded, though it's a variant. So we're not exactly sure if all of those copies are the Otani or if they're some of the other variants. Next up, this one's very unique and very interesting. This is from 1927, and it's a game program from the inaugural game at Michigan Stadium. It's graded at a CGC 4.0, and you can see there it's Ohio State University versus the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, October 22nd, 1927. Official program, 50 cents. Pretty cool, and it is the only copy graded, so pop one of one, none higher. All right, here we've got another magazine from that auction with the memorabilia network that we've already talked about. And once again, it's another Mickey Mantle. This is from 1956. This is his third cover. And this one also appears to be a newsstand. So I think this is a great pickup here. It's not graded, but it is autographed. You gotta love Mickey Mantle. Uh, yeah, $1,300. And we've also seen this one before. Michael Jordan, first cover. This is a subscription issue. They didn't even try to remove the label, just cleanly stamped right on there. Graded as CGC 9.2, sold for $1,260 on Heritage. So once again, people, please don't go out there getting the idea that you need to just grade all these subscription issues. Now, if you want them for yourself to display, that is awesome. I support that. But please don't flood the market trying to sell people all these subscription issues. It's really only going to work if you've got the key elite covers, the MJs, the mantles, the Ali's, maybe even the, the Magics and the Birds and the Kareem's, but please don't go much further than that. Uh, we just don't need to see the market flooded with, with a bunch of people trying to trying to make money um, off of your subscription issues. But this is a nice one because it's, it's Michael, and it does display very nicely. Obviously, the rest of the magazine, uh, despite, that, uh, despite that sticker label, this magazine is in really great condition at a 9.2, and that's why it went for $1,260. So, there have been 131 subscription copies of this issue graded. I don't know off the top of my head, but I would guess, I would venture to say that's probably the most subscription issues that have been copy uh, that have been graded of a single of a single issue. And uh, it's a pop one of one, none higher in the subscription realm. Although there are 90 newsstands graded, and at a 9.2 newsstand, it would be a pop two, and there are two newsstands graded higher than the 9.2. Next up, Michael Jordan again. This is from 1993, and this is a CGC 9.8. So this was after Michael and the Bulls won their third championship to wrap up their first three-peat. This was shortly before Michael retired for the first time and went to play baseball for a year and a half. And anytime you have a 9.8 of a Michael Jordan, that's going to carry value. So that's why this went for 1140 There have been 34 copies of this issue graded. And it is one of only two 9.8s currently in existence. All right, once again, we've seen this. This is the first issue. We saw some of those 9.8s selling in the 3,000 range this month. There's a 9.6 that went for $1,140 on Heritage. And we know the pop reports. We've seen them many times. 560 copies graded. Another Michael 9.8 right here. This is from 1992. Yes, Michael's Bulls shoot it out with Portland. So this was when they were on their way to what would have been their second title. You can also see Horace Grant there. And there have only been 17 copies graded. This is the only 9.8. Next up, this is one I was really watching, was really interested to see what happened with this. Uh, 1978 Magic Johnson first cover. This is a new stand. It's graded as CGC 7.0. Sold for $1,110 on Heritage. This is another one that I personally would classify as a bit of a bargain. There have only been 17 copies graded of Magic's first cover. Uh, this is when he was a sophomore at Michigan State. And you got to think, whenever you're looking at first covers and you're thinking about rarity and pop counts, 
not only are you considering the year and how old that issue is, but you've got to consider where that athlete was at that point in their career. The LeBron James first cover, even though he's still in high school, there are tons and tons of copies of those out there because everyone knew that LeBron was the next big thing. He's probably the most hyped recruit to ever come into the NBA. Magic Johnson as a sophomore at Michigan State was not nearly at the same level. Now, obviously, he was still a highly touted college player, but there's only 17 copies he's graded because not a lot of people were hanging on to him. So really cool here. It's a pop one of two, five copies graded higher. Another Michael Jordan 9.8. This is from 1995. I'm back. This was after he announced his return to basketball after his little venture with baseball. This is the only Michael Jordan cover that has him uh, wearing the number 45 jersey. So I think that makes it pretty interesting. It's also got Reggie Miller in the background. This is actually the only time Reggie Miller ever appeared on a weekly Sports Illustrated issue. So you could also consider this to be Reggie Miller's first cover, which I think is cool and kind of a, an underrated component of this specific issue. So there have been 54 copies of this one graded, and at a 9.8, is it is one of 16. And the last one for our honorable mentions, we've got Willie Mays, 1955. This is his first Sports Illustrated cover. Also features Leo DeRocher and Lorraine Day, who was an actress, and she was also married to Leo DeRocher. This is a CGC 6.5, and it sold for $1,000 on eBay. There have only been 29 copies of this issue graded. This is the only 6.5. There are 23 copies graded higher. All right, to wrap it up, you guys know that I always like to also take a look at the top five comic sales and the top five sports card sales from the previous month. In my opinion, the graded sports magazine hobby is basically a combination of those two. So I just think it's a really good idea to keep an eye on what's going on there. So let's run down really quick. Top five comic sales. Number five, Captain America Comics. Number one, Larson Pedigree. This is from 1941. Graded at a CGC conserved 9.2, went for $276,000 on Heritage. Number four, Superman. Number one, DC Comics 1939, graded a CGC 1.8, sold for $288,000 on Heritage. Number three, Detective Comics, number 168. This is from 1951, graded at a CGC 9.4, sold for $324,000 on Heritage. Number two, The Amazing Spider-Man, number one from Marvel 1963, graded at a CGC 9.6, went for $336,000 on Heritage. And the number one selling comic from last month, Amazing Fantasy number 15, Bill Joe White copy, 1962, graded at a CGC 8.5, sold for $552,000 on Heritage. All right, same deal, sports cards, counting down the top five sales from November 2022. Number five, we have a 2008-2009 Upper Deck Exquisite Collection NBA All Access Triple Logo Man, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Game Used Patch. It's serial numbered one out of one, graded at a, PCA, a PSA Authentic, sold for $540,000 on Golden Auctions. Number four, Tops Hank Aaron Rookie Card from 1954. Graded a PSA 9, went for $615,000 on Heritage. Number three, a 2000 playoff contender Tom Brady championship ticket rookie card. Graded BGS 8.5 with a 10 for the auto. Serial numbered 67 out of 100, sold for $750,000 on Heritage. Number two, 2003 Upper Deck Exquisite Collection LeBron James Rookie Patch Auto. Graded BGS 8. Sold for $885,000 on Heritage. And the number one selling sports card from last month was a 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle card graded PSA 8. Went for $1.47 million on Heritage. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate likes, comments, subscribes. We'll do this again next month. And until the next video, see you guys next time.